hello everyone so welcome back to the channel this is Austin code cipher so in this video I'd like to share with you some project of ours we are having so it's a jQuery mobile app or mobile website where you can call it or phrase it so it's just simple we are just designing the UI but we are going to upload this on Google Drive you can download the all project folder it's going to be called project so this folder on the left hand side you see i'm going to upload it on google drive so you can edit it. it's going to be an open source when edit and add some more functionality please i beg share it with other guys so that they can also implement this and come out with some great app or website now let me first open it in a browser or what i've got to tell you is we are also working with animate.css so we are going to add some cool animations slide slide in left slide in up down shake bounce and such animations in the cool app and this is the app <laughs> it won't as i said it's just a ui you can go ahead and design it put whatever you want change the layout so it's all about you we are using the jquery mobile library and check when i refresh this that cool animation takes some time and also the image slides in so we have some next button going to the next page but we can also have here down below we have these are just ui there is nothing like shopping calling there is nothing it's just design here we have some cool navigation bar at the foot in the footer there is home home is this page then we go to video and you see the videos will slide in we go to the about you see the about page will bounce as you can see it bounces and these are corruptible so you can check what is inside also this stuff slides in from the right hand side slide in right and that's animate.css doing those slides so that's why i included it in the head section here so this is just going to be an open source project you can go edit what you want so about channel i teach how to build website and apps i teach the in-demand web skills pricing the content is for free on this channel difficulty uh, things are very easy to learn so you'll be the one to edit as you can see inside this craftsable we have again another craftsable you having the education level when you press that they will say yeah this guy has a degree in computer science we have the back buttons here and the cool with this ui jquery mobile app we have some active filters if I want CSS, I will just write CSS and everything that is having a phase of CSS will pop up. You can see this one is bootstrap, but when I wrote CSS, it was brought up. Why? Because if you are to see in the statement, I say the HTML, CSS and JavaScript framework. So bootstrap has this phase CSS. So this filter will search for that specific word and show it in the browser. Let's say HTML still this bootstrap has a phase of html so as you can see having some active filter jquery everything with jquery will pop up you put j only even javascript now will also show the bootstraps so that's basically the functionality of this as you can see this one sliding from the from down this one comes from up and i see on the right hand upper side I'm having this Google Chrome extension, file extension, or oh, it's called an extension, sorry, not file extension. So it is the mobile browser emulator. I can test this website or web page on different mobile devices, the screen sizes. So I'll open this. And when you see that one is the size of an iPhone 5. So let us see how it will look on an iPhone 5. So that's how it will be looking on an iPhone 5. I guess 
so here I will look in website mobile app as I said this is going to be available on Google Drive you can download and edit what you want you can add more functionality as always change the so that's as we can see it's very responsive on mobile devices this is an iPhone 5 size and still our animations work very well so let us close for an iPhone 5 below is the size of most Android phones as you can see that title which pops up most Android phones let's also test it and see and this is how it will look on the most Android phones still our animations will be working we'll go to the video panel and still our slides will be working our filter will still be working so that's the size on the most Android phones let's test it on iPhone 6 so this is the size of iPhone 6 and let's see how it looks on iPhone 6 that's how it will be looking on iPhone 6 also some nice app looking up our slide will be in our bounce effects so as you can see those are the different types of devices on iPhone 6 plus this is how it will be looking on iPhone 6 plus the same layout as I told you can change the layout if you're not comfortable with this one let's test it on tabs so this tab the iPad iPad mini Galaxy tabs so s2 let us test and see how it will be looking on those devices Oh, this stuff keeps on popping up I don't know why so this is how it will be looking on the iPad minis still our filters will be working but as you can notice we are having some bug here when I filter also the footer also goes up so this is a bug we shall work on it as I said it's an open source app or a project you can go and work on it so we have noticed that we have a bug there so on the iPad or iPad minis the Galaxy tabs when somebody filters also the footer comes with the content so we shall also solve that when we start dealing with this nice looking app then that's it I guess the functionality this side on the about side I guess the same functionality we have to deal with the jQuery UI I had also some small project here it's in this folder jQuery UI index so for this case I used bootstrap to make the layout of the web page and these nice looking accordions so this side they are called accordions and in the jQuery mobile they called them the corruptible so that's the difference corruptible these ones are accordions in jQuery UI the other one are corruptible in jQuery mobile so still this page will be responsive because I used the bootstrap grid lines or grid system So still our content will be nice that fade in fade out in the tab section as you can see so building such stuff I'm going to be sharing all these projects on Google Drive the link is going to be in the description below make sure you check them out go ahead start designing manipulate your own stuff create your own projects out of these layouts or change them completely so that they be different from this one so as you can see let me show you some cool stuff with jQuery mobile let's say we don't want this list to be displayed we want the user to only come and search for them 
so i can go where this section is for the videos it's no jquery there it's like one page application or one web one page yeah it's one page application where a user has just to navigate using transitions so pages will appear as transitions but in actual sense it is in one html page just that we are it's divided by this data roll of pages now let's go and look for our video channel so as you can see here let me make them side by side let me bring up this iphone iphone size so as i said we don't want this to be displayed we want the user to search them the user to search them and they appear so this is the page as you can see channel videos and this is my filter so i'll say i'll say data filter dash go space data filter dash reveal equals true data dash filter equals true as you can see they are not displayed so the user will just have to search for what he or she wants as you can see now they appear when it removes they also disappear so that's how cool jquery mobile is the user will not see the videos but will have to search so search it get it css and css will pop up so thanks for watching guys make sure you check out the project it's going to be uploaded on google drive and play around with the code and come up with some cool projects or nice looking layouts as you can see the other slide was removed now we have we added this attribute data filter reveal equals true so it will get disappeared and we shall be having this ugandan ugandan male degree in computer science subscribe to the channel like the video share it on different social medias and i'll see you in the next tutorials